Yeah, Lone Trinet, this is Root. I don't think I made a video about my wired headset not working, or maybe I have, but it was probably a damn short, you know, portrait video. But then again, I finally, after doing a bit of hunting, found the shop where I can actually get that headset port swapped out with a brand new one. So, then I can finally answer the phone as I normally would by putting it to my ear without it being without the color not being able to hear me at all. Yes, they'll be able to hear me. Sometime next week, I gotta go into the far suburbs just to get that shop. It's worth the ride there and back. Thankfully, I won't have to take a subway to get there, but it's a long shot. It's all gonna be a long ride to get there and back. I'm used to it. So, yeah. That's what I gotta do sometime next week. So, yeah. I wanna get that taken care of as soon as possible. And have a device to use for the next uh, five years from date of purchase. Well, actually, it's now been six years since I bought it. So, uh, another four years until Google, you know, cuts the balls off of Android 8.1. And then, well, I'm forced to use a newer device. Which I already have a few. They got Android 12. So I'm not in need of buying a new one for a long, long time. And perhaps I could unlock the bootloader on those if the trick still exists. And well, that makes things a lot easier, if you know what I mean. I could possibly bump it up to a version, or the latest version that's currently available. Plenty, plenty they even have that available. So, yeah. Anyways, just thought I'd make a short video blog about that. Want to get shit straightened out. Oh yeah, I've been using a single speed, uh bike for a while getting a bit more used to it but then again it's got to go back on hiatus because the other one's coming out of the shop tomorrow yeah tomorrow finally took a while they had to get the parts they had to swap a shattered berry no really it fucking shattered to pieces and uh well how do you think it's supposed to get to the shop? Rode it to the shop with care. It took the least bumpiest route. And that way, nothing would happen to it. Because, you know, if I was reckless, I probably would have damaged the other berry and then fucking crippled it. You know what I mean? Shattered the axle. I do have a spare axle, but I don't intend to break it. So, I took time, got it to the shop, I just got to pick it up. I gotta pick it up tomorrow morning, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, back to the six speed. And on top of that, I ordered new tire liners, so they'll be arriving sometime in August. The ones that I made, well, they're gone. I don't know what the fuck happened to them, but they got thrown out. So. I didn't throw them out, that's the one thing. So, that's disappointing. So, ah. Initially, when I did make them, they didn't fit in the tires. They only fit fat bike tires, so I don't know what the fuck happened to them. I looked around, tore the place up multiple times over, I still couldn't find them. So, I don't know, maybe it'll turn up someday. And if they do, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Because I don't use fat tires. They're 
fucking wide and they're fucking rigid. That wide. So they could fit in how do I put it? The size twenty fat wheels, likely? The twenty fours would be a bit pushing it, it would probably cause a fucking flat because the tube would be squishing around it. So best fit the twenties. I don't know how I didn't get the measurements properly despite sticking them in a proper size wheel, but yeah, long story short, I don't have them no more. But if they somehow turn back up again, well, whatever. I'll sell them. <laughs> or whoever in my area has actually got fat tires, well, I'll just give it to them for free because, well, what the fuck? There's nothing else I can do. But I don't have them. Can't find them. But if I do come across them, then uh, I'll have to do find their way back to my place. It's whoever shit about that is. Probably got guilty. They probably took them. I don't know who it was, but I got a pretty good idea who probably did take them. But if they do return them, Great. I go to somebody that's got fat tires and at least provide the good barrier so they don't get flattened. If I gotta give them to a carrier that actually owns their e-bike, great. Better off, at least they won't get flat or, you know. I'll be the decision, making that decision anyway. So, yeah. Okay, anyway. Sorry, that's a little bit too loud. I... Gotta get up in the morning to take care of business, so to say. So, feel free to subscribe. Doesn't cost a damn thing. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. There's other ways of following the videos I upload. Because based on YouTube's way, you don't have to subscribe. There's You can bookmark the page and it'll still show the most recent uploads. You just gotta sort it that way. Actually, no you don't. It just shows the most recent upload in the channel. Because there's plenty of channels I'm literally not subscribed to and it still shows the latest video. So, that's a hell of a lot better than X Twitter. So, and I don't know if YouTube still supports RSS feeds. If they do, you can subscribe that way. It's... You don't have to physically click the subscribe button. just got to find the damn feed and, you know, bookmark it. I'm not sure if that's supported anymore, but you could try, right? Nothing said you can't try. Or put it on your home screen from your browser. As I said, fuck the YouTube app, which is a container that loads YouTube.com in a frame. And it's rather glitchy. And bitchy. Okay, well. Alright, enough is enough. Thank you for watching. Bye.